Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to Expo Hub channel. And today our topic is how to use use Excel file activity. So before you could find all this Excel activities on your UiPath Studio, you first have to enable one of the project settings in case you do not see it. All you have to do, click on this project tab and click on the settings. And then ensure under the general tab modern design experience is enabled okay if it is not already enabled for you please do enable it only when you enable you will be able to find the modern design there is also another option if you are on classic design you can also click on this and click on if you are in already in classic design then you will find something called show model enable that and you should be able to find these activities these are the Studio X activities which has been newly added to the 2021.10.3 edition of the UiPath Studio. So this is the latest edition that we have. So let's understand how to use use Excel file activity. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you before you could use the use Excel file activity, you should use this activity in combination with Excel process code. So all you have to do drag and drop the excel process code and if you highlight this you will find the definition which tells you this needs to be used in combination with the use excel activity okay so first step you drag and drop the excel process code and once you drag and drop use the use excel file now why we are doing all this reason being this activity need to get integrated with your microsoft excel so anything you wanted to do, this use file, use Excel file activity will help in integration with the MS Excel application. Okay. So once you have this activity dragged and drop, the first place which you have to work is to provide the workbook path. Okay. Let's say you already have a workbook file or you may not have a workbook file. There are two conditions. So all you have to do, click on this particular browse button. Okay, if you have a Excel file already, so the moment you click on it, it is going to take you inside your project, whatever your project name is, it is going to take you to that folder. Let's say there is no existing Excel file here, right? So let me create a Excel file called test one. Simply I'm giving a name test one. Don't have to mention any extension by default will appear. So simply type the name and click on open. The moment you do this, what happens test one dot xlsx gets created so what would happen this time when a file does not exist it's going to create a new file with the name okay that is the benefit of this use excel file it is going to automatically create in case the file is already available let's say text one is already available then it's going to work on that particular file okay that is the meaning you should have so let's see if you go to the projects tab and try to refresh this project tab. Is there any file in this project folder? You can also open the project folder. Just right click and click on open file location. That is going to show you the entire project folder. So inside the project folder, there is no Excel file at the moment. So let's go ahead and create a blank Excel file. Okay. I'm going to talk about so many properties of this activity. So let's first do this exercise. So let's click on debug or run whatever you want so let me hit on the debug so what would happen this time it is going to create a test one dot excel sx file it's very simple okay you can see the file got created and now if you go to the projects tab okay and try to refresh this project tab you would find a test one dot excel sx file has been created right so if we want to go to the file location we can also do that and you can see the test one excel file has been created so what happens if you run it again what would happen it will just use the existing file so it is not going to create test one xls once again because it will find the file is already available so it's going to rework on that same file okay now if you go here you see there is no new file got created it is the same file because it understood there is already a file named test one dot excel sx okay so this is the first point you should understand now the very important point that you have um, there is some couple of options here like save changes save changes means 
under this use excel file activity i'll be i can use so many different activities for example write cell reads read range and all that right so i can use a write cell i want to write something into the cell so let's do that let's use a write cell activity very simple and i want to write let's say what to write let's i want to write my name rakesh and where to write so you can click on this so when you so by default the plus sign is not visible when you take your mouse and keep your mouse pointer at the corner of this particular rectangular box or somewhere in the rectangular box you would find this plus sign click on this plus sign and click on you would find something called excel okay so here click on the custom input okay so it is asking me what sheet name which sheet you want to write so in that excel sheet so i want to write in sheet 1 in double quotes and then Uh, cell address so i want to write in a1 in the cell number a1 i want to write so hit on save so what would happen now let's see it so now if you go to the projects folder and open the click on this test 1. xlsx okay if you click on this file the file will be completely blank right now we are using a write cell activity and we need to run so once we run we should find the value called rakesh so let it open okay so now you can see the test 1 is completely blank and i am in the sheet 1 there is no data right now what we are going to do i am going to run it or debug it so the moment i do it the write cell activity this time will get executed right so once this get executed i should find a value called rakesh okay so the execution is complete if we go back you can see the value has been written into the excel file simple these are the two different pointers we have learned now there is one important point okay the important point that we have is there is something called if you hit on the use excel file right if you click on this there is something called edit password and password so if your excel file is protected then you need these passwords so how do you protect the excel file let's do that let's open these this particular test file and then i am going to apply a password so how do i apply a password let me tell you all i have to do is click on file okay and hit on the save as okay and hit on the browse so once you do it it will ask what name you want to save it as so i want to keep the same name test1 and then here i have something called tools so click on tools and click on general options So once you click on this, it is going to ask you password to open, password to modify. So to open the Excel file, if you need a password, one two three four five six. So I'm so I'm entering a simple password, one two three four five six. This is again for a training purpose I'm doing, and telling you the password. So once I have this, and I am hitting on OK. So there is something called to modify. I'm going to show you that. So I'm I'm going to hit on OK. and it is asking me to re enter the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay simply i am giving a number so once i have given the number i need to save it already exist do you want to replace it say yes to it okay so what happened the file is now protected with the password while opening the file it should ask me or prompt me for a password so i am clicking on this file okay you can see i cannot see anything inside the excel file what is there it is asking me to enter a password so let me enter a password 1 2 3 4 5 6 simple password i have given so i can see now after entering the password i have option to see the values okay so if this kind of a file is there which is password protected so let's close this file so this file is now password protected so that particular password is for the file right so if it is for the file i am going to enter the password over here i am saying i am giving the password and this kind of a password you can protect using a secure string okay for the password you have something a data type called secure string you should not enter your password like this is again for a training purpose i am doing but again generally in a project you should protect your password with the secure string so i have entered the password over here now i am going to save this particular workflow and this time because the file is password protected let's say 
if I don't enter the password, what would happen? It should throw me an error. Let me delete it. Simply let me run this. Okay. So this time because I have not entered a password and this file test one is a password protected file, it will throw me an error. Okay, so it has give it has prompted me to enter the password manually. Okay, sometimes it may throw you an error or it may also prompt you to enter a password. So you can see the uh, workflow has paused. Okay, it has paused and uh, now it is asking me to enter a password. So let me enter the password. So I am doing it manually, right? I am doing it manually. That's where the execution will be completed. So the execution has got completed. You do not want to do all these things manually. You want this to happen automatically. All I have to do is in the password section of the property panel, I need to enter the password. Okay. So once I enter, now if you run it, it will not prompt you. It will automatically open the file. So let's run it. You will see it will automatically open the file form without asking for the password. Okay. Execution started. Okay, it's trying to open the Excel file. All right, so the Excel file was executed and there was no prompt for me to enter the password. Okay, now because, um, and let's see if it has written the value. Okay, let's open this file. So this time it did not prompt me for a, because I'm opening it manually, it is asking me for a password. So the value has been written. Okay, fine. So let's close it. I'm going to talk about one more important point that is edit password. There is something called edit password. So how do you apply a edit password? So let's open this Excel file and to, uh, okay, first of all, let me enter the password for the Excel file. And let's say you want to restrict edit. Nobody should be able to edit. See if you come type something and edit, make changes to this particular sheet. Sometimes it is necessary that we must restrict the edit that also should have a password. So for that again, what I will do, I'll go to file, save us, browse. Okay. And I'm going to click on the tools, click on the general option. So here for the password to modify, I'm going to enter the password one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm entering the same password for training purpose and hitting on okay. It is asking me to confirm one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to click on OK. So what happened now hit on OK. So what happened now you cannot edit it. You can, for example, if I open it now. OK, so first thing it is asking me generally, it is asking me for a password to see the workbook. So after I enter that password, it is also telling me enter password for right access or open read only. If you hit on read only, you cannot do any changes. For example, if I hit on read only, see, now if I hit on save, it, it you cannot save it. See, I cannot save it. I am able to, I am entering details, but the moment I hit on save, it is asking me to save us. You can save it as a different file, but to that specific file, I cannot make changes. Okay. So to, if this kind of a modification is blocked by a password, then what I should do, all I have to do in the use Excel file activity, there is something called edit password. If you want to modify something inside the, or you want to make an edit into, into that. So let's say I'm not entering the password. And if I run this, what would happen in the right cell activity, this will throw or it will prompt me to enter the password. Look at this. So now in my background, the Excel file has opened. It is prompting me to manually enter the password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only when I enter it manually, that's where it is writing the value. Okay. So until then it's not writing. So let's change the value. Let's say I'm going to write Expo Hub. If I, I, I don't want to change the value. Uh, I mean, I don't want to enter the password manually, the modification password. Then all I have to do provide the password over here getting it very simple but very useful options that you should know about so if i run it now now it should write expo hub okay
Okay, you can see now it has it has written expo hub. Automatically, it has written the expo hub file. So you can see how uh, in the background it is taking these these inputs and all these inputs are passwords. So you should secure it using the secure string data type. Use a variable to save your passwords uh, because it's a training for demo purpose. I'm just showing you how it works. So now let me open this file. Okay, if you manually open, it is going to ask you for the password okay now you can see it has written the values for me right so i hope this uh, there are also a couple of important options that you should also learn there is something called user template file okay so this is a slightly advanced option i am going to probably create another video for this but for general usage this much this video and the couple of information which i provided you should be good enough okay should be good enough for you to understand so thank you guys for watching this video. We are, we are going to come up with more interesting and conceptual contents for you to help you improve your UiPath knowledge. Thank you guys. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.